Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 2nd. Uh, we're just gonna jump right in here. Uh, you have this innovation card and this appreciation card. Uh, the appreciation card is a really good card of abundance and more abundance coming in for you. So your uh, innovative ideas could lead to a lot more success at this time. Um, and again, I would also, you know, appreciation is like one of the most powerful uh, ways to manifest more into your life. So. You know, I kind of feel that energy here where, you know, appreciating what you do have, even this guy here on the Seven of Pentacles is kind of like appreciating the work that he has done. So, you know, that could be very powerful for you. It could be a great way to manifest something new or to just manifest more of what, like whatever you're working on in your life. Uh, you have these two sevens here and two sevens can represent internal fears that don't exist. Uh, so definitely it is a time for you to kind of like release your uh, fears about anything uh, that you are working on. You know, I really see you like taking the control here with the uh, chariot and trying, it's like you're trying to take more control over something. It's kind of funny also how uh, so far on the bottom here, you have King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. It's just popping into, it, you know, it's like popping into my head that some of you are trying to, uh, it's like you want to take a leap of faith. It's like you understand what could make your life better, right? You understand um, what things could move you forward with that chariot card, or maybe you understand what things in your life could lead to a bigger victory or more abundance or more success. Um, but, you know, I feel like that underlying energy, right, of the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is like, what if I'm not good enough? What if I can't do this? What about, you know, all the past issues and problems that I've had? It's kind of like needing to let go of those limiting beliefs. And again, the two sevens, that would make sense. You have the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands says, when you know that you know, that you're going to be successful, that's when you'll be successful. It is a card of con uh, conviction. It's a card of believing something so deeply that you make it happen. So, you know, your beliefs are going to be very important. And again, it's no mistake that we go um, like this, sun to the five of pentacles. The sun is the best card in the tarot deck, but the five of pentacles specifically says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. The Five of Pentacles wants you to focus on your strengths, wants you to focus on what you're good at so that you can have more good things in your life. And this is what I would focus on here. Uh, you have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups could be a love offer uh, coming in for you. I do feel like someone finds you very attractive here, you know, or, you know, it could be you as well, but going this way, sorry, wrong camera, but going straight across, Sun, Chariot, Empress, really nice. <laughs> uh, definitely a very good energy. You've been getting good love readings with me for a while, which is pretty, you know, it really doesn't happen very often for you for whatever reason. Not like this, you know, this is different. This is another level uh, going on here, but you have the uh, King of Pentacles as well. King of Pentacles is something permanent. So again, um, you know, it's like everybody says Sagittarius is like the bachelor sign, right? Um, but it's almost like you could be attracting someone where it is permanent, where maybe you're no longer the bachelor sign. Maybe you're the um, the sign that commits or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I feel like you could be committing to something here uh, on a very deep level, something uh, that will make you very happy. I mean, there's a lot of happiness and celebration going in this direction. Uh, but where, where, where is this going? I have no clue. Let's see. And with the Seven of Wands, you have the Empress again. There you go. So tons of abundance. I do feel like you're very attractive at this time. Like you could be getting a lot more attention, by the way, than you realize. So if you do want love, I would get out there, you know, with this energy. This is really telling me there's like a lot of attention, a lot of attraction, a lot of people who would be or are currently attracted to you. But uh, again, I feel like you have to like put yourself out there. I feel like you have to... Um, you know, it's almost like you have to meet new people, you know, um, or put yourself out there in some way. The, the thing with the sun is that we have to get attention with the sun and we're in a time of attention. So, you know, whatever you can do would be good. With the page of cups, you have the five of cups, um, fear. <laughs> you know, someone else just had this as well. Might've been Leo uh, who just had this. I think I can't remember. Um, but, you know, five of cups is like, the, is grieving the loss of something you no longer have. And when there are two cups behind you and then that bridge in the castle, I always say with this card, that you have to turn around so you can see the bridge in the castle. You have to be grateful. You have to appreciate with that appreciation card what you do have, and then you attract more abundance. So I would focus on you know appreciating what you do have here, and you know that's what I would focus on, plain and simple. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Three of Swords. Yeah, it seems like everyone is you know it, it seems to me like people who do want love could be have 
like gone through these moments of forgiveness <laughs> or something where it's like you've really had to go through a period of time where you really have had to learn how to forgive the past or something like that. And again, it seems to be like a collective type of energy, right? It seems to be something that um, either everyone is dealing with or everyone has dealt with. And that's kind of like what's going on here. That's really, you know, that's really what I get from that card. Uh, next in the area of your next big change, you have this uh, lizard spirit says, dream the world into being my favorite card in this deck. You have a sandpiper spirit says, be playful. Yes, definitely time for you to be playful, uh, to have more fun. I also feel you need to, like there's something you want with that seven of pentacles. We're gonna definitely talk about that. Uh, you know, I feel like there's something where you're saying, it's almost like you're living two lives. You know, let's put it that way. It's like you have your, I go to work and blah, 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 live life. And then you have this other more exciting life that could be part of a dream. It's like you could have like a little bit of the reality of it. And, but also there's this like fantasy element that I'm getting here. What the hell am I talking about? Like I said, it's like maybe you have a job, a real job or whatever, but maybe you also have a side hustle that you'd rather be doing or something like that is what I'm getting here. And, um, you know, and, and so that's what I mean. It's like, maybe it's like a side hustle. Maybe it makes you a few bucks, but you rather turn it into a business or whatever. Um, and it's like, you're trying, you know, you're trying to get there. You're trying to get to the dream, the dream side of things. That's better. Um, but it's like requiring a little bit more work. I feel like you're figuring it out. I feel like you will be successful, by the way, if that story is for you, um, you know, because we go seven of pentacles, chariot, you know, definitely a victory coming in for you if you're trying to manifest uh, some sort of dream on earth. Uh, the seven of pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? He's looking at those seven pentacles and just simply saying, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? All the work that I put in these seven pentacles or, you know, is there something better that I could be doing with my time? Should I, you know, have some sort of change in direction? And so, I, I, you know, I can't answer that question for you. You know, some of you might be looking at your job and you could be saying, like, is it worth it for me to do this? Or is there something that would be better, more fulfilling that would actually make me happy? And that's the direction I would move in. I would move in that direction of happiness you know, doing the thing that you actually want to do. Uh, you have the sun here. Sun is, of course, a card of happiness, joy, uh, good things coming in for you. So I feel like the sun is shining on you at this time. I feel like you're, you could be getting a lot of attention or there will be a lot of attention uh, coming in for you with the sun. Uh, I would encourage you to get as much attention as you possibly can with the sun card. Um, you know, the, sh the sun shines a light on you. So, and it also shines a light on things that you should pay attention to. So if there's anything in your life that you need or want to pay attention to, um, that's exactly what I would do with the sun, is I would, um, <laughs> you know, I would focus on something that you can pay attention to, uh, or, or focus on something where the light is shining on it. And it's kind of hard to describe, but sometimes in life, like I think we become interested in something new, or we just kind of become curious about something. And I feel like that's what this is saying. You know, this could be a person, place, or a thing, doesn't matter what it is, but it's almost like the sun is saying like, hey, over here, you know, there's like something that you want to be doing, something you want to work on. And I feel this, the five of pentacles is saying, to number one, get out of your head. And number two, it's like, you feel like you're not good enough, but you are. So I feel like you need to get away from these beliefs. Uh, the Ten of Swords could also be causing problems because the Ten of Swords can say that you had some sort of like rock bottom moment in your past that you were trying to heal from. Um, but he also represents a blessing in disguise. He's making the same symbol right here that the Hierophant is making, and it just represents a blessing. So. I kind of do feel there could be like a list, little bit of a blessing in disguise coming in for you here. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Star. Uh, the Star, of course, is a card of hope, faith, renewal. You also have the Sun in the Star here. Uh, these two cards together can represent fame and fortune. So I feel that there could be a lot of, you know, good things coming in for you here, a lot of attention, you know, very positive vibe I'm getting off of those two cards together. Um, I also feel that, you know, this could be you. It's more attention, really. You know, this is glow up vibes right here. You have the Empress twice, star, sun. So you could really be having a glow up here, but it's almost like you need to believe it or something. There's something missing is what I'm getting at. <laughs> so there you go. With the star, sorry, the sun, you have the Knight of Cups, definitely a knight in shining armor uh, could be coming in for you. It could be a water sign for some of you. Um, you know, of course it could be any sign. It could just be someone you, you have that you see as a knight in shining armor or someone you see as someone who could sweep you off your feet. So you know, there you go. You have cancer right here. could be any sign though, general reading. Um, you know, this is also like swift movement. Um, you know, I kind of feel some of you need to put more work into whatever, you know, especially for those of you with like a side hustle, I feel like it needs more work. You know, with the 10 of swords, you have the eight of swords, really needing to set yourself free. 
you know, the, the Ten of Swords can be a prison just like the Eight of Swords because we can, you know, this guy needs to realize that he is dead. <laughs> he needs to realize that he has to get up off the ground. It doesn't even want to focus, right? He needs to realize he needs to get up off the ground. It's like there's nothing more for, for him. He's reached rock bottom. He needs to make a change. And I kind of feel that for some of you. It's like time to make some sort of change. Uh, next, in the area of what you don't see coming, you have this card that says, lessons in life will repeat until they are learned. And then you have this card that says, spend more time on spiritual growth. I feel like you have been spending time in isolation is really what I'm getting. You you end with the hermit, you know? So I kind of feel you have been in this um, period of time where you've been doing a lot of learning about spirituality or yourself or whatever the case may be. And it, I actually feel like you're kind of like coming out of that. You know, you're coming out of this period of time. You know, it's funny, there's a butterfly here and you have the hermit, which is like this Virgo card, which is like Virgo, right? And Virgo always gets these these signs of, uh, you know, going from like a caterpillar to a butterfly, right? And it's coming up in your reading. Now, it's like you're going from, and I, I might've said this to you last week. It, it, I, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, there's something here about kind of going through that transformation, right? That metamorphosis. Uh, you have the three of cups chariot and the five of pentacles. Uh, I feel like you're becoming more social. Um, maybe, again, maybe you've been in a period of time where you haven't been very social with that hermit card. Maybe you've been in hermit mode for a long time or you've just been kind of more withdrawn. And it's kind of like you're coming out into the world. And, and again, that would make a lot of sense with the whole, you know, going from caterpillar to butterfly. It's like you're stepping out into the real world or you're stepping out into the world in some way. And again, I feel like that's going to be good for you with the three of cups. Uh, you have the chariot. Chariot, of course, is some sort of victory. Uh, or success. So I do feel like there is a victory coming in for you here with the chariot. Uh, some of you could be moving or traveling. We are in a time of moving and traveling though. So it doesn't really, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like one of those things. It's pretty obvious to me um, that a lot of people are going to be moving and traveling over the next several years. It's pretty obvious. I mean, Uranus and Taurus, Uranus and Taurus, you know, we have a much stronger craving for freedom. So a lot of people move during Uranus and Taurus because people want to be free. And if it's like, if you're living somewhere where you feel restricted or whatever the case may be, you're probably going to move. And, you know, so again, that's just, that's just one thing. That's not even everything else <laughs> that could be causing people to move, but it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, the chariot is a card of setting yourself apart. I feel like you need to be unique. Like don't be afraid to be your own unique self here. And I think that's what could be causing this glow up that we energy that we see here in the reading. Um, but I kind of feel like the glow up needs to be nurtured. You know, it's something that needs to happen, but I also feel like you have to make it happen. You have the Five of Pentacles. This is part of the problem, thinking that you're not good enough. Five of Pentacles is pretty specific. You know, it is a card of being left out in the cold, but it can be a card of also um, feeling like you're not good enough. You know, the Five of Pentacles says you need to pay attention to the words that you use on yourself. It's a card that says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Uh, this guy right here has a bell around his neck right there. And it represents, uh, you know, back in the day, lepers would have to wear bells around their necks when they were coming down the street. And so it kind of says, like, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Do not um, focus on the things that you're not good at because there's probably a lot of stuff that you are good at. And that's what I would focus on here. Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the Moon card. Um, you have the Sun and the Moon. If you have a, had a past situation that didn't work out, uh, you know, the sun and the moon can represent two people who who were not meant to work out, you know. Um, so I feel like you need to realize that like a past situation maybe just wasn't meant to be and you're moving on from it. Uh, for others, again, at the back of the moon, we have some mountains and the hermit is at the top of the mountains here. So it's almost like this reading is saying you've gone through a moon period of introspection, right, of looking into mysteries and things like that. And now you're kind of coming out on top. Uh, with the chariot, you have the eight of pentacles here. Eight of pentacles work hard. You know, it's a card of hard work and seeing a result for the hard work that you do. Uh, so I do feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you with work with the eight of pentacles. Um, I also feel this is, you know, diligence. Eight of pentacles is a card of diligence. It's a card of being diligent, working hard towards something, uh, working hard towards making something in your life happen or something like that. So whatever, like whatever you're putting work into, I feel there's going to be a lot more success coming in for you. And with the five of pentacles, you have the seven of cups here. A lot of sevens, <laughs> two, two sevens this way as well now, seven of wands, seven of cups. 
So again, the multiple sevens in a reading to me is definitely a symbol of, you know, again, internal fears that don't exist. The seven of cups is you get really high, you get really excited about an idea, um, but you know, there are good things and bad things in the seven of, the seven of cups, right? The guy, the normally on a traditional seven of cups, the guy's looking at those cups and there's, you know, snakes in some of them and, you know, then there's like treasure and others. So it's like, there's good and bad. Um, but this is what happens when we uh, get really excited about an idea and then we don't manifest it on earth. If we, if you think about something for too long, instead of just getting started, then you think of all the things that could go wrong. And I kind of get that energy here where it's like, you might be overthinking something that you want in your life. And I feel this is saying, just make a decision right here. <laughs> in the area of the good stuff, you have this undecided card. It says, dealing with fluctuating goals or income, it's important to stay informed in, uh, on the shifts that are, are occurring. I think you just need to make a choice, even though this is showing up in the good stuff, um, which which again, could tell me that you are gonna make a choice. Uh, you have a spell work, it says using magic spells or your manifesting power is strong. So I definitely feel it's a time of manifestation. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles kind of is a manifesting card. It's a card of putting work into one thing, making something happen. So, you know, I feel like your powers of manifestation are on point here. You have the Four Swords, the Empress, and the um, Hermit. It's like you have this glow up here. I'm actually gonna show you these two together. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. You have the Empress. So, you know, again, focused on creating abundance, which is exactly what you should be doing. But to have, look at this, the hermit, he, he has earned his right to be at the top of that mountain. He's gone through a dark night of the soul or he's gone through something difficult. But you can see here that this is like the star inside of his lantern. He needs, he is not shining that star, right? So it's almost like you have to expose something to the world. I feel like you need to shine your light brighter uh, or get more attention. As I always say, we are in a time of attention. You have the star. We have Pluto going into Aquarius next year, officially at the end of next year. So it's like you need to get as much attention as you possibly can on whatever it is that you do in your life because that is what's going to make you successful is attention. And um, we're talking about positive attention here. And also the other thing is, is that you've earned the right to have all this attention. This isn't like, you know, you just yelling and screaming, getting attention, doing stupid stuff. This is you have worked hard to, you know, perfect some sort of skill or you've been working hard on your side hustle or whatever, and it deserves attention. So I really feel that you need to believe that something that you are doing deserves the attention that it deserves. <laughs> Plain and simple, that's how you're going to get your blessings, four swords. Everyone has had the four swords this week for some reason. It is a card of rest, relax, recover, which you might need to do. But you can see right here, there's a person who is giving this other person you know, a blessing. So it can, it's a card that can represent blessings coming in into your life. You know, this person's blessing this other person here. So I feel like you need to, it's like there are certain blessings that you need to, um, you know, accept into your life and, and doing that will make you more successful. I know that sounds stupid, but you know, it's like there are, you know, I feel like there are more blessings available to you than you realize. Let's, what does that even mean? Um, here you go. You have the Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. You know, it's like you're hoping, wishing, and praying for an opportunity. And it's like the universe, I feel like the universe is like, here you go. <laughs> um, but you have to take the Ace of Pentacles. I always say with the Ace of Pentacles, we have to, you know, we don't just get the Ace of Pentacles. We get the Ace of Pentacles, but it is like a seed. We have to plant that seed and then we have to nurture it. So, you know, again, if you're getting an opportunity, I would take it, whatever the opportunity is. With the Empress, you have the Hangman here. Yeah, you're like seeing things from new perspectives. It is like everyone has had some sort of card about perspective this week as well. So it seems to me like we all could be seeing new perspectives in life or we could be, um, you know, kind of changing our perspective. Again, understanding that you deserve attention is a perspective change. You could be understanding or you need to understand that you deserve to have a glow up in just the simple change in perspective will cause the glow up if that makes sense. But it's like, you have to see it. You have to understand that you deserve it. And I really feel that this reading is is pretty simple. It's just like saying you you do, you need to understand that you deserve a glow up, plain and simple. With the Hermit, you have the Judgment card. Yeah, your life is about to change in a big way for sure. Uh, judgment, the people are inside those coffins. Outside the coffin is their new life. Inside the coffin is their old life. It's like you're stepping into a new life. Again, I feel your life is changing here in a big way, but I feel uh, pretty, it's a simple reading. You just need to understand that you deserve a glow up. Underst understanding it is the thing that is going to you know cause your glow up, if you will. So there you go. Uh, you have this finger, it says, uh, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. I feel like this is your problem right here is you have this turkey card. It says someone is behaving stupidly. I would be careful of past people. Again, it's weird. Um, almost every single sign has had something about a past person, even though we're like past retrogrades. We still do have some retrogrades though. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. I would just be careful. 
Uh, you have the seahorse. It says family matters. Every single person in, in the month of October had something about family. So a lot of us could be, you know, dealing with family matters. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's probably a good thing. Uh, you have this uh, rooster. It says arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Yes, I would be careful of, you know, arrogant people, jerks, just in general. Uh, you have this archway. It says new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Yes, ace of pentacles, big new opportunities. I see a lot of success in anything new that is being presented to you. It could also be old. Like maybe you've been working on a project, but you get an opportunity to, um, you know, present the project in a different way or um, you get a chance to show off. You know, if you have an opportunity to show off, I would take it. Uh, you also have this November card. I always clarify these monthly cards and you have this card that says success assured with good plans and hard work. So success pretty quickly, you know, next month, November, November is right around the corner. So there could be a lot of success coming in for you like right away uh, because of like hard work that you're doing. But uh, this looks really good here, uh, Sag. So pretty simple. Uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.